Hello, everybody, really welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Battle for the Bosphorus. Let's continue on from last left off. So, World War II is about like a month and a half away, and I'm sure nothing bad could possibly, possibly happen. Right? Like, we're, we're gonna be completely okay. Fingers crossed. Is there anything else we want here? I mean, create more stability. More factory output is not bad. But losing 10% stability right at the end does does hurt my soul. And I, I don't want to lose 10% stability, at least not quite yet. We could get medium tanks. You know what? Let's get some medium tanks research as well. They're usually pretty good. So, you know, having like one or two divisions of light tanks and then filling up the rest with medium tanks probably is the way we were going to be uh, wanting to go with this. We have 83 army experience. How are our troops actually trained? They're all right. I mean, a lot of them did get experience in the uh, Iranian conflict. Not that much experience because the war did not last too long. So let's see. Another 97% chance that we succeed. Because we're actually so likely to succeed, I really don't... Get a stones. Hold a march in fundamentalist state. I don't know what states are even fundamentalist at this point, though. So, why not? I mean, even then, it's got like a... I mean, let's just do it. Let's spend the political power. I don't know how much political power we spent on doing all of those decisions, but I, I feel like it is quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. So Germany right now has probably about 100 divisions. Poland has significantly less than that. The Soviets haven't done anything. They haven't demanded Best Arabia. They haven't done anything in the uh, the Baltics quite yet either. Nor against Finland. But I think the f was the Winter War in 1940, I think. Or early 1941. Either way, there, there's still some time before there is a major conflict on this front line. Okay, we assess our future. Let's try to take Hatai before uh, France capitulates. Because that's going to be our best case scenario. Molotov Ribbon Drop Pact has been signed. Yeah, not, unsurprisingly, like, the, the Kurds, they don't like us. Your base value 50 seats so high. Chance resist activity 22%. One of the chance it penetrates our resistance because I'm trying to do reconciliation. Resistance decay speed plus 50 percent Compliance gain goes up by quite a lot. Are you... The cavalry we actually have in these armies. Are you even the best for resistance? Suppression 12, 9, 6, 15... The tanks do 17, but they are very expensive. Yeah, put better units in these fronts, please. We are now missing some of total artillery, but that's not a big deal. Uh, just one moment. And we're back! Okay, so, 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 so. We are currently still going to go for the high daiju. I'm, I'm hoping... I mean, it's September and Germany hasn't declared World War II yet, so... I mean, they might be pushing for Danzig. Let me just see, um... Support the Finns. Guarantee for Danzig. Secure a new... S no, no, not oppose Hitler. I mean, they, they can declare war on Danzig. Just whenever they want. So we'll kind of see if that, uh... If that happens. If they're doing it right now. I mean, World War II... Slightly delayed. J just by uh, a few months. That that's fine. Uh, we'll go for Excavation 3. I see, will we? Let me just double check. Yes, yeah, so we still want more steel. The the chromium's okay. I mean, we're not really making too much of anything else. Do I actually want to trade for some tungsten? Probably, and again, we'll trade with the Soviet Union because we don't really want to trade with anybody else at the moment. So, France, please give me Hatai before World War II begins and you capitulate really is our best case scenario. Uh, I'll send you guys over to Purple Army. You should now become... Yeah, you're now the Iranian Army as well. 
You're just missing a handful of artillery pieces, which is really not so, so bad. I think we're completely okay with all that. So you're the only place that is... Maybe, maybe now we've gotten 100% of their territory. I'm actually not too, too sure. But our forces are ready for an invasion of Syria. Whenever that eventually, you know, becomes an issue, which it probably will be at some point. I'll uh, send you guys to this front. Bulgaria, they do have some guarantees with the Germans, which is a little bit, yeah, they got some fascist influence. Romania probably also has a little bit of fascist influence as well. Royal household accounts. Really not too, too sure, but that's okay. The Panay incident, American British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft. You know, could, uh, be looking how things might be going in the future. It is now currently October. Uh, World War II still has not actually begun. We could get chromium, but I don't. I don't need chromium, right? I could get steel. You need 19 civilian factories? Excuse me? That's way, way, way too expensive. 15 civilian factories. Okay, so now France has ceded its tie to us. 120 political power. I'll definitely take it. And now can we finally crush... Germans could have won a point. Look. I, I, we don't need a speech for it, okay? It doesn't matter. But I guess there's actually no states now that actually have fundamentalist issues. So we're actually really just now going to deal with the Kurds. Which is still not great. Also, France has, you know, moved all their troops off this front line, which is nice for us. All that up with... So, again, we don't want to do peace in the world. That, that's silly. P peace is for nerds. We don't want that shit. We'll remove the debt council. It's going to make a handful of countries not like us very much, but that's okay. You know, you don't need to be liked by everybody. As long as you have a, uh, a few close friends, that's good enough. We will also go for extensive conscription. But it, it doesn't really provide too much of a penalty for us. Yeah, so Poland is getting absolutely murdered. This is to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Uh, what do we also want to research? I mean, it's almost 1940, so probably getting the uh, next level of infantry equipment is not a bad idea. More military factories, please. I just I like military factories. I mean, civilian factories are okay. But there, there, there are no military factories. You know what I mean? There are no military factories. I mean, do have motorized. Probably start building a handful of them. I know we don't have any... We're actually missing some steel. I know we don't have a template for the motorized right now, but that's not a big deal. And actually, the steel is being used for our convoys. Who really cares about that right now? We have 85 convoys, and I really don't think we're going to be needing too, too many of them. I will assign you over to Blue Army. And is that all the troops you're training? Yes, it was. We still have a lot of... um. Luxembourg joining allies. Belgium and the Dutch are probably going to join that soon. But 9.7 thousand rifles. I still think it makes sense to kind of keep on deploying some infantry divisions. Do we have any more light tanks? We do. So you know what? Let's do one more light tank. Because how many light tanks do each one of you need? Only 120. You're mostly carry divisions, which is garbage. If I was to replace you with one more... You're now 16 combat with. I think that's okay. Because right now I think we have a two tank divisions in the army. If I'm not mistaken. You have two tank divisions. Two carry divisions. Medium tanks we now have as well. So you're going to slowly start producing these up. I mean light tanks are fine. But medium tanks are better. Just, just flat out better. We could try to make, like, a 40 combat with. It'd be very expensive for us to do so. But, it, like, it does... It makes sense, right? That that's something that we'd want to do. Warsaw has already fallen. And France has no interest in moving her troops into Germany. Nor moving her troops into uh, Italy. But I guess Italy is actually not at war with them. Not quite yet, but probably will be soon. Populism... 
We could have some more propaganda. That's not a bad idea, honestly. But I'd still like to try to... Get the Curtis states to not hate us so much. Just trying to reconciliation. Apparently, this is unique because it actually does only show the Kurdish flag and the uh, Turkish flag. But there's no resistance decrease, which is like the problem. The Dutch are joining the Allies. Like Belgium joining the Allies, not a big surprise. I'm just like, civilian oversight, what's better, civilian oversight or, or reconciliation? Because right now... I mean, you do have resistance that K-speed increases, but like, resistance target is still pretty high. Like, it's still very high. The organized resistance and bold in the resistance. So I think we might want to then switch you guys back up from reconciliation, go back to civilian oversight. You should all start decreasing, because the base decay should be 10% lower than it was. Since it's hard to get damage to garrisons. I mean, it's it's fine for right now. I mean, it's still not great. And we want the Soviets to like us by 75 penny. If you want to join our way up to the... Uh, join the common turn. What else can we get if we actually... Not align ourselves with these other people. Chester concession... Two military factories, and you can do all these things for free, regardless. I'm assuming if you're at war with Germany, you probably can't do this one. Every state that produces 40 more units of chromium will receive three levels of infrastructure and two military factories. I mean, that's interesting. I don't know if we go to war with Germany, if this will actually then, um... Go away. Get some light tanks for free. You know what? Let's go for the German-Turkish Friendship Treaty. Uh, we'll actually also join ourselves with the common turn. Just so we can get our pity and boost, we can continue to go down their uh, tree. And Russia's declaring war against the Finns. That's okay. But our faction right now is looking pretty, pretty good. I would say at least. Also, Japan has really changed the, uh, the front lines in China. They're doing a, a pretty good job. When is your... Cost is barely going to be done. It's going to be done in September 27th. Apparently, you're not just doing the, um... I'm not too sure what it actually is on here. Can you not actually just go to the Winter War? Maybe not. Okay, the Dutch have capitulated. No surprise there. I mean, Germany is doing completely okay. And I wonder if it, I wonder if it makes sense for us to just... Immediately go to war with the Allies as well. With the backing of the Soviet Union, could make a lot of sense. I mean, we would have a front line with the British down here. Look, stop. I I don't. I I, I don't want to hear the speeches. I, I don't I don't care what Winston Churchill has to say at the moment. But the Italians have joined the war. If I was to justify a war against you, thirty-five days. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to just go to war with the Allies, like, right now. Belgium's capitulated. Can I just request all your forces? Thank you. Give me eight divisions. All of you under a new commander. Who will then be on this front line. I'm also going to request all of Kurdistan's forces. And we're going to send them to that front line as well. Like, how many troops do you think the British Raj actually has? 8 to 32, which is not a ton. But I think we do it. Let's let's attack the allies while we uh while we can. The Soviets should try to back us at least a little bit. Germany's already doing a good job against the French over in uh well France. And I'm not too worried what the British do. The Americans are they neutral right now? Intervention in Europe. They've done a neutrality act, so they really don't want to join any factions right now. And purple, I think you guys will just, yeah, be very aggressive in attacking you. Also, I don't want you guys over here in India can be the Red Army. That's completely okay. And I think you just attack as well. I, I think that's a completely all right thing for you to do. Italy's doing a pretty good job in, um... 
in Africa as well. So let's go with the Claudius Agreement, because I really want those extra military factories. Stop it. Please. I'm. It, it's, it's so simple. Apparently the Russians are also sending units down here, which I, I guess I appreciate. But I'd really prefer if you actually sent more troops to Finland and not helping us. But I guess it's fine. We'll be there in 20 more days. Paris has fallen. I mean, if this goes to Vichy France, that does kind of... Okay, no, I actually went to Free France. Is that considered a different tag? No, it's now part of Vichy France. So I think our plan for just fighting war against you. Apparently, yeah, no, it's just gone. Rudolf Hess is dead. That's fine. So Vichy France now exists. Which is unfortunate. The Free French don't really have any power at all. Should have just fight the war like a day sooner or something like that. But actually, I, I wonder if the game would have just given Vichy France that territory regardless. I'm not too, too sure. What if I just fight a war against you then? 125 days. What if I just fight a war just against the British themselves? 30 days. Like, I'm, I'm still interested in fighting the, the allies right now. I mean, attacking Germany wouldn't... I was going to say it would not be a bad idea. I'm sure they have a lot of troops. You are currently guaranteed by the Germans. I could justify the war against you. I don't think I could declare the war, but I could justify it. Yeah, immediately go up to a war economy, please and thank you. Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of Kurdish rebels in the territory right now. I, I can't deal with that, okay? They they've all they all seem very upset with us. Okay, so you're just gonna war against the Finns. Just maybe maybe one maybe one day this won't do that. Yeah, we'll join your war, that seems okay. Finland, are you gonna join a faction? Peace in the world's been bypassed, probably because we're at war. Actually, why did why did you bypass? We still right now do have disorganized armed forces. Which is not great. Denmark's joining allies. Not a huge surprise. Norway's probably going to join the allies soon as well. Are we missing any equipment? Mostly light tanks, but that's okay. Norway joining the allies. I'm trying to think, like... I think we do just declare war on the, on the British. Uh, do you guys... I do not want my vassal states getting involved in this war. You'll get involved in the war against the British. That's for sure. Which actually probably means that Finland's going to probably join the allies at that point. Which is acceptable. Russia right now has lost 19,000 men. Finland's lost 16,000. So the Soviets are doing a completely okay job here. Of course, they still do have, um... Max Volunteer. Do they have any, like, penalties for this? 1941... Probably, you know, nothing ominous about that year. So when is when is our cost of belly going to be done? Because I really want to attack the Allies. If I can actually get military access through Germany, and then navally invade Canada, or not Canada, navally invade the, the British. I mean, it could work. We have no ships in the area. But I will send... Can I get military access through you? You won't say yes, but you will say yes once... um. Once we actually declare war on the British, navally invade England. If we can end the war against the like allies right then and there, two thumbs up. It'd be great. And then, of course, we'll eventually have to come kill the British. I don't know how when that'll happen, but I guess you guys don't need to be here then. At least not against the Vichy government. We got a worsening recession. Stability minus 25. Yeah, no, I understand that things are not going great for us right now in terms of that, but 
throw away can... I mean, I basically have done everything I can to, uh... Is there any more tr events? There's one down here. That's really about it. So we're going to have our recession. It's going to get pretty bad in just a few days. But once, maybe once we're at war with like a major world power. Because we're not at war. Actually, no, we are at war. We're technically at war with the, the Finland, with Finland. But in two more days, we'll be at war with the Allies. The British already have a lot of troops in this location, which is not a big surprise. But I am going to clear war. I'm going to call in all my allies. Soviet Union has joined the war. Fantastic. So, I mean, I, I still think this is okay. Let's go for bada bada bing. Better line artillery. And I think you guys here, delete all your orders. You're going to get military access to the Germans. And deploy all my units on these northern ports. Oh, at least for blue for purple army. I think that team's okay. There are some strikes. I understand that. Production of several factories slowed down drastically. We'll spend points here. I mean, I know war sport's not great. You want to send me thirty-six divisions of expeditionary forces? I'll take them. I, you know, I won't say no to that. That's so many units, actually. Why would you give me thirty-six divisions? Again, like, I'm not going to complain about it. Send you guys towards this front as well. Okay, is that everybody? Yes. So I would consider that to be a pretty sexual fight. Uh, we're not technically at war with the British Raj quite yet. I don't even know if we can actually make progress through there. But I do think that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Are you? Did you join the allies? You actually didn't. But I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Ansel William. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not doing it, thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.